Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Christine asks whether there is any update as she meets Nina in Chance's hospital room. It's too soon to say, Nina relays. Why is it always my boy? She sobs when Christine tries to reassure her he'll be all right. Arriving in the corridor, Sharon strikes up a discussion with Elena, who informs her that the bullet missed no major arteries and that their conversation would have been quite different had it been a quarter of an inch off in any direction. Sharon laments that this wasn't supposed to happen and that, as chief, he wasn't meant to be this close to the action. Elena really apologizes. See him, Sharon asks to see. Elena gives Sharon a nod and motions for her to follow. Sharon informs Chris and Nina in Chance's hospital room that Elena thinks Chance will fully recover. Elena shows there and remarks that everyone seems worn out. Maybe you could all go take a break and grab something to eat. Chris persuades Nina to agree despite her concerns. Devon notices Nate consuming alcohol at the bar in the jazz lounge. Are you okay? Devon asks. That's the million-dollar question, considers Nate. Though he doesn't want to discuss it, he does inquire as to what Devon wished to discuss with him. Devon wants to discuss all that has been going on with them and how they can turn things around. Nate queries his suggested method for doing that. Devon feels that they ought to get together for a bit. He is aware that Nate has been trying hard, and now is the right moment for him to do the same. Nate exclaims, Whoa, for me, it is the day of major shocks. Devon observes that he obviously experienced something today. Nate asks Devon what changed since he no longer believes they will have this conversation because he still doesn't want to talk about it. Devon acknowledges that Mamie was the one who initially persuaded him and Lily to consider Neil's potential course of action in such a scenario. Give the man a chance, his voice is telling him. Nick enters the athletic club dining area as Victoria is searching for Nate. He asks her to stay for a drink as she turns to go. Victoria laments at the pub that both she and Nate were taken by surprise. He believes that by supporting Adam, she pushed him under the bus. Nick grimaces. Nate, according to Victoria, won't pick up her calls or respond to her SMS. Although Nick is sorry that Nate is no longer in Newman, he is sorry that she is in pain. Victoria inquires as to whether he thinks Nate's plan for their father was self-serving. He was, Nick believes, playing the long game. She asks him whether he believes Adam was plotting something equally cunning. These days, Nick finds it difficult to understand where he's coming from, so he's not sure. For the reason, he believes he was sincere in his concerns about their father. Nick worries about Victoria's ability to move past Victor's abuse of her. Summer arrives at the hospital and asks Elena if Chance will be all right. Elena tells her he will be all right. I want to see him, Summer. Elena was unaware of their closeness. Summer says that they've gotten along well. It should be all right, according to Elena, as his mother recently left with Sharon and Christine. She gives her a tour. Elena tells Summer she's welcome to remain as long as she wants, so Summer moves to Chance's bedside. Christine, Nina, and Sharon raise a glass to Chance at Crimson Lights. This cannot continue, says Nina. He has to stop. Sharon is aware that it's difficult to live with that level of terror, but they must acknowledge that Chance has made this decision about his life. If necessary, Nina would beg him to stop, but she won't take it. Nina considers the possibility that Sharon could communicate with him. When the conversation shifts to Ray, Sharon says she truly lost her heart when he left. Nina regrets learning of the accident that claimed her late husband. Sharon remembers having to wonder if he would return home every day. Despite the risk, she made the decision to stay with Ray and Chance. She can relate, because his mother Nina wouldn't have selected this career path. Nina would like Sharon to persuade Chance to resign. Sharon would never dare try that. They discuss his inclination to be right in the thick of things. Sharon speculates that he might feel compelled to pursue it and that no one could persuade him to give it up. Victoria gripes to Nick at the club about their father thinking she might be as dangerous as Adam. She has every right to be upset, but it doesn't imply she will harm the business or him. 
Nick queries her plans. Victoria wants to get close to Nate and show him that she supports him. Nick explains how Nate unintentionally stepped into Victor's trap. It's not over yet, according to Victoria. He will get his job back. Nick isn't sure. Their father regards Nate as a vanquished foe and feels he has removed a threat. Victoria will show him that it's incorrect. Nick says that Victor is putting pressure on him to return and take over Nate's position. Nick responds to Victoria's question about the exact time it happened in Victor's office, right after she and Nate departed. What will he do, she wonders. It's not clear to Nick, but he can't simply leave Sharon's companionship. He believes there might be another test to see who of them is most interested in dunning the crown. Victoria makes a decision to go listen to some music at the jazz club. Nick tells her that everything will return to normal and they'll work things out. Nate reminds Devon in the jazz lounge that there has been a lot of blood in the water and that they would have to consent to letting all of that go. Devon is aware that it will require some time, but in the end, they are relatives. They are capable of forgiving one another. Everything seems conceivable to me. Ultimately, we have to make a decision about it. He wants to decide to put aside his differences with Nate and acknowledge their affection for one another. When Victoria shows there, she asks Nate if they can speak. Victoria is informed by Nate that he is at this moment without anything to say to her. She insists, but Nate tells her he's now speaking with his cousin. Devon removes himself from the predicament and informs Nate that they have made strides and will continue to do so. Victoria informs Nate that she understands he's upset and she shares his anger. For all of them, her father set up a trap. Nate quips sarcastically that he was the only one who was discovered. Victor was attempting to unite his family, he recognizes, but when it came time to pick a side, she went with Adam because he is related. Victoria is adamant that is untrue. When it comes down to it, Nate is furious because he should have realized that the Newmans will always circle the wagons and defend themselves. What is her expectation of his reaction to that? Victoria disagreed with Nate's plan, therefore she didn't push for it. Nate is unable to comprehend. Victoria was brought up to put the needs of the family first. You have to give Victor credit for pulling off his ruse like a pro, Nate laughs. Victoria was afraid of what might have happened to her father and the company if word had gotten out. She urges him to be honest about whether he thinks there's a chance for them to regain control. Nate recognized an opportunity for her to seize command. He continues to believe that his was Victor's best option and does not waver. Victoria inquires as to whether he fails to see how Victor would have believed he was attempting to oust him. This can be saved. Nate is fairly certain that he has no desire to save it. Victoria doesn't believe he's yet ready to give up on Newman Enterprises. It will take Nate some time to decide what to do with his life after this. Danny discovers Chance was shot as he approaches Nina, Christine, and Sharon at the coffee shop. He is utterly at a loss for words. After receiving texts from Elena, Sharon, and Nina to decide to return to the hospital, Chris is urged to stay with Danny by Nina. Danny asks Christine whether she's all right once they are alone. She's been attempting to control herself for Nina, but she was afraid by this. Since Chance's birth, she has known him. Christine is concerned that Paul should know. Danny advises her to hold off until the wonderful news is confirmed. According to Christine, that was somewhat unexpected. Danny thinks on how everything can change drastically in the span of a single glance. They should therefore cherish every second. Christine concurs wholeheartedly. Daniel sends Danny a message informing him that their meal needs to be rescheduled. He jokes that since he's free now, would Christine want to come to supper with him? Christine consents, provided that there is no room for interpretation. Danny is aware that it cannot be construed as a date. He tells her he composed some of his best songs when she was in his life, and that he wants to work on music again. She quips that this time she's going to collect royalties. Summer tells Chance, who is comatose in the hospital, that he needs to wake up and reassure her that everything will be all right. I wasn't prepared for this, she sobs. She had a queasy feeling in the pit of her stomach when she learned he had been wounded. What if I never saw you again? 
What would happen if we never spoke? What if I could never again annoy you with my troubles? She wants Chance to know that without his support, she would not have been able to handle things with her mother. I truly appreciate having you in my life, but I can't bear the thought of losing you, she says to him, encouraging him to be strong and get through this. Christine informs Danny at Crimson Lights that Nina sent her a message, and that Chance will fully recover under the care of the medical professionals. Regarding their dinner, she is unsure. Danny understands that this is a trying moment, and he would never intentionally make her feel uncomfortable. I simply can't stop eating, and I don't enjoy eating by myself. Giving in, Christine says, I could use a burger. Victor texts Nick at the club bar, telling him that he's the only one he can rely on and pleading with him to keep his word. Nate tells Victoria in the jazz lounge that he won't be able to trust where he's on her list of priorities after today. She desires to defend them. He wonders what will happen if her family has another problem. Maybe this is a wake-up call for me to work on reconnecting with my family, his aunt Mamie cautioned him, pointing out that he would never truly fit in with the Newman family. Regardless of the response, it will take him some time to discover it. When Chance awakens at the hospital, he finds Summer seated. He grinned. She grabs hold of his hand. Sharon arrives in the doorway out of nowhere. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.